Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It's Tuesday, October 4th. I'm Andrew Gagan. Wall Street's three major indexes have rallied more than 2.5% for the first session of the new quarter. This, uh, for the S&P 500 index, slid more than 9% last month to be off around 23% from its January record close. All 11 major S&P 500 sectors were positive, with energy notching up its best day in more than three months. Producers uh, ExxonMobil and Chevron rose more than 5% as global oil prices jumped on the prospect of output cuts by OPEC. And shares in mega cap growth in tech companies, Apple and Microsoft, rose, while banks were up more than 3%. However, Tesla fell around 7%, in fact, more than 8%, after it sold fewer than expected vehicles in the third quarter as logistics constraints have meant deliveries have lagged production. Well, Treasury yields have fallen following a decision by UK Prime Minister Liz Truss to ditch her government's controversial tax cuts. A plan to eliminate the top tax rate of 45% led the Bank of England to intervene and begin buying government debt. Well, weaker US economic data also saw the benchmark US 10-year Treasury yield fall 15 points to near 3.65%, while the two-year fell to 4.12%. And global factory output mostly weakened in September as slowing demand added to persistent cost pressures and tighter monetary policy, while US manufacturing activity grew at its slowest pace in nearly two and a half years in September as new orders contracted and manufacturing employment contracted also last month. And Federal Reserve Bank of New York President John Williams has said that while there has been signs of cooling inflation and underlying price pressures, they remain too high. Clearly, he's saying, inflation is far too high and persistently high inflation undermines the ability of our economy to perform at its full potential. Tighter monetary policy has begun to cool demand and reduce inflationary pressures, but our job is not yet done. Most major currencies were stronger against the US dollar, the pound up more than 1.5%, and the Aussie leaping back above 65 US cents. The momentum from the overnight rally on global markets is expected to flow through to the local session today, with ASX futures up around 1.5%. Oil prices jumped overnight, as OPEC Plus considers its biggest cut to output since the beginning of the pandemic, as it moved to support prices. Expectations that it could cut by more than 1 million barrels a day, which saw Brent crude futures rise close to 4.5%. Iron ore futures were around 1% lower, while base metal prices were mostly weaker, aside from aluminium, which was up more than 2.5%. Spot gold jumped more than 2%, taking it close to $1,700 an ounce, while silver has surged more than 8%. And Bitcoin is up, but remains below $20,000 US dollars. Today, the RBA meets and it is expected to raise rates by a further 50 basis points. And that is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.